Got to pause right off the bat for uh, Perky Pepperonis. And we can introduce our teams in a second. And in terms of impact, though, uh, Perky Pepperonis, I feel like they have a much, I feel like they have a much better, um, I feel like they have a much better late game than EG. I'm going for the tiny and uh, Phantom Lancer. And with that being said, let's get into our match. We've got uh, on the Radiant side, it's going to be EG. We've got Fear on the Troll Warlord. A Bounty Hunter will be played by Zai. Our Tide Hunter is actually going to the safe lane right now. It's played by Universe. Invoker, that's going to be some male in the mid lane. And PPD running around the map as a Crystal Maiden. Zai actually going to stand right next to Dad. And Dad takes a little bit of damage from Zai, but. Not going to be lasting. Dad is going to be playing the Phoenix. We've got a Lich handled by Nimble Navigato. Our Beastmaster is going to be Monkey's Forever cutting a lot of trees here with the Iron Talon. And we're probably looking at a lot of jungling. KVH will be on the Tiny. And finally, we've got Aini Asad playing the Phantom Lancer. And he doesn't have lasers coming out of his eyes like many of the Phantom Lancers that we've seen in this tournament. Seconds to battle. Waiting for the rune here is the Phantom Lancer. And Tiny's also there. It looks like he has mag magma magma in his face. Possibly could hurt, but he is made out of rock, so I think it's okay. Zai so goes over to the rune. He's got a sentry ward available, and there's no detection right now from uh, Perky Pepperoni's big avalanche. And Zai, yeah, Z Zai's got the bounty rune. He's right on top of that stuff. And Monkey's Forever is going to get the one bottom. It'll be an interesting offlane matchup with EG electing to go for an aggressive tri lane. And Zai is leading the way here. He's got a sentry ward in his inventory. And there are two on the Lich for Perky Pepperoni. So if it comes to a dewarding war, um, he would probably win it. We will get right into this game number one of the best of three set. Zai is already moving forward onto the Tiny. They are trying to keep him out of this lane. I mean, Tiny may have a little bit of trouble uh, getting towards the... Uh, Creep wave. Zai's sentry warrior is actually going to get you worried by one of the witch sentries. And Zai is maybe looking for a place that you can put the sentry that would be a slightly bit more difficult for a witch to actually de ward. Uh, Phantom is taking a little bit of damage at mid, uh, but really all the action is most likely going to be at the top lane where the two tri lanes are facing off. Uh, it's going to be a dive in by the Phoenix, going right forward on the PPD. They're going to get the Avalanche onto her. PPD's caught out, uses the stun on the Tiny. And oh, wh what a bash from Troll. Uh, Nimble not forgot to getting very well. That's going to be a first blood going for Zai. And they will find it with that aggressive tri lane. Uh, not onto the Tiny, but they definitely get the blood there. And they get the gold. Pretty good to start this match. So at least the aggressive tri lane does some of its job in getting the kill and it allows the crystal maiden to rotate over to the jungle. Can be farming up the creep here, frostbiting him up, and they've actually left a uh, troll warlord with fear alone on top now. It may be a bit of a problem. He could have some problems trying to stay alive. Um, and Zaya's so gonna go over to mid doing some damage to the PL. And PL's gonna get slowed down here. He's taken a lot of damage from this and Invoker's very far away. And uh, PL now uses the salve to get back up to full health. Interesting matchup at bottom as Universe is slightly ahead of the uh, Beastmaster in terms of CS. He's 15 versus his 12. So Universe is playing that lane pretty well against Monkey's Forever. We'll see if that changes anytime soon. Fear underneath the tower gets hit with the Frost Blast. 
Maybe he's just gonna walk around there. They're a bit too far underneath the tower. Probably want to utilize some side pulls here to pull the lane back. And Crystal Main continues to get some good farm with her Frostbite. Almost level 3 at this point. It's all the same to me. I'm focusing aggressive onto PL at mid. There's going to be a Sun Strike and the Cold Snap. It helps take him very low and it will finish him off dead on the mid lane. Sumail hits everything. Um, Zai actually getting very aggressive at top. He gets caught out slightly. Uh, and Type Hunter, he gets a kill on the Beastmaster at bottom. Uh, uses the Gush and the Anchor Smash to manage, to manage to finish off Monkey Forever. So, we talked about how Universe was having a pretty good time at bottom. But he's actually having more than a good time. He's gotten a kill and beaten the Beastmaster out of this match. Uh, we also have a rotation by Zai on the mid. PL's taking a lot of damage, and yeah, he's going to be forced to use a doppelganger back very low on mana, and he's going to bottle up. And right now, EG, they're being very greedy with their lineup and their lanes. DPD is going to stun up Lich. And they've managed to find three kills across the map. Perky Pepperonis, their safe lane is basically a disaster because Fear is just owning the crap out of it. 22. Our last hit stick with 8 denies versus Tiny's 9. That's a tiny number. Over at the mid lane, Zai is underneath the tower taking a lot of damage. Tried to get the courier, but and oh, hello. Hello. Invoker finds it with the last hit. So that courier could not travel fast enough and they managed to take it out for 3 minutes. I would say that's worth his eye kill. Fear might be in a bit of trouble over at top. Ice Blast is available. They've also got the full combo from Tiny, who's still level 3. Throw is there, and he's still doing some damage here. He throws out the axe, his could turn around at some point. The laser is done. Uh, Phoenix is going to dive forward, and Fear has got a turn at this point. He's throwing the axes from inside the trees, and he could go on to dad. The Johnny Hunter found Lich, and the throw is there. They finish off, but there's the round. The universe coming in. Great rotation by him, and he finishes it off with a double kill. They've taken down this entire safe lane. And Universe once again saves the day, comes in to turn around. It might have been that in that fight, EG were able to get at least one more kill, but Universe comes in and secures the two. So they take down the entire safe lane, which is as which at this point, it's a disaster for Perky Pepperonis. And we're not even six minutes in. Right now, uh, Perky Pepperoni is really paying for putting the Monkeys Forever Beastmaster up against Tidehunter. And at least the Beastmaster is level 6. Is that at least something that's going well for Perky Pepperoni? Oh no. The smoke immediately taken off by Zai. He smoked nearly on top of him. And Zai is going over to Monkeys Forever, who has a Sentry Ward and the Roar available. I'm gonna run right towards him. BD is smoked up. It's a double damage run. Invoke, or, in, universe is coming over. He's got a gosh. Okay, Zai is going to get yelled at, but this is not what Monkey Trevor was counting on. He slowed down so much. Wave is healing him up, and they don't even need the Sun Strike to hit, take him out. Seven kills for two, and they might find some more. Dad, he could be in trouble. We'll get it. Yeah, he gets to dive away. So he's going to be completely fine for now. But look at this. ET being so aggressive. And <laughs> they even followed Zai Bounty Hunter over to the secret shop to pick up some arcane boots. He decided to have a little bit of mercy on the KVH, gave him some levels at top. He was being pretty sad. Um, with very few levels on the top lane. He was level 3 for quite a while. That's one situation where the tri lane did not help. Radiance top tower is under attack. And Zai. Is uh, still working around the map level 4 right now. PPD is cleaning up the hard camp so that Beastmaster cannot go for it. Monkeys forever. He is... Could get caught out here. Fear is here. He's got the slow available, but he himself is being slowed by the board. The slow will hit. There's a sun strike you, and it's on the mark. <laughs> Monkeys forever thought about doing something to PPD, but those thoughts were going to be far from his mind as he is now dead. And EG once again find another kill on the map.
They really need this PL to come up big. He's got a Wraith Band right now, no boots at all. Only a bottle. At least EG haven't taken a tower yet, but with the Troll Warlord on their team, these towers are going to basically melt. Uh, Bounty Hunter is getting the... Uh, a couple things delivered to him on the courier. I believe that's going to be the ending to a four-man shield for him. He's going to come in on the Ania side. Here comes the TP in by Crystal Maiden. He's going to get the stun and the Sun Strike. Who is on the point, of course. Universe is also here the, with the Ravage. Monkey Trevor has to be careful. He's being a bit aggressive onto it. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And Perky Peppering is kind of starting a Me Mexican standoff over at the mid lane. Fear is also pushing in top. Got a helmet on the Dominator right now and Brown Boots, also a PMS. Radiant's top tower is under attack. It's going to be just working there at the lane. At least the Ice Armor is there from Lich to slow down the push. But the Troll Warlord will soon get the tower. TP in by Aenea side. He again gets frostbitten by the Crystal Maze. Moving around very slowly at mid. and uh, He's not feeling very good. That's really demoralizing just to show up to a lane again and immediately get hit with the slow. Yeah, once again, he's in the mid lane. They need to find out which one is the real one, and the four spirits are going to find it. Doing some good damage to him. Down to 300 less than full. Uh, PL goes over to the rune, and he's got to be careful. He goes on to PPD, doppelgangers forward, and PPD could find him. Doppelgangers down for 15 seconds, and they find another kill onto the PL. They're just so good at moving around the map. They work as a team, and. I said it before, it's really unfortunate for all these teams that they have to go up against EG. I mean, Perky Pepperonis may even have a chance in the final, but EG just works so well as a unit, and it's very hard to be able to win a draft or a game against PPD. The man knows his Dota. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Zai throws out a Shuri, forcing Lich back to the base. And Fear is left defending Radiance bottom. There is a roar available for Monkey attack. Forever. Fear's got all the creeps trying to hit him down, but here is the rotation by EG. PPD is here with the Invis rune, and Universe comes in from the side. They get the slow on the Monkey Forever. Sunstrike U is there. Tidehunter finds another kill, and they're trying to take down all the creeps. Four goes down. And this will be another tower going the way of EG. They're going to run right up to that tier 1. And they will very quickly take it out. Universe hasn't even, even used his Ravage just yet. May want to wait. I mean, he's probably going to be able to get to a level, level 11 before he even has to use it. Right now, Perky Pepperoons, they can't push into this at all. Tiny sitting at uh, Blink Dagger and Power Treads. Phantom Winster has boots and a magic wand. He's taken three deaths and they have hurt him pretty highly. Oh, Sai is here. He gets scared out by the scan. He needs to be careful. Dad doesn't have any detection. Lich doesn't have any detection. Where's the detection for Perky Pepperonis? They just do not have it for this bounty hunter. It costs too much money for him. Universe going over to the top lane, now it's 1700 gold, getting closer and closer to the Blink Dagger, and he's also gotten his level 11, level 2 ult. Double damage. And what is Zai building? He's at 1600 gold right now. You may want to think about spending the gold pretty soon. So... Perky Pepperonis are getting closer to a couple of items. Peel, we'll just see if he decides to go for the Boots of Travel or the Power Treads. With him being so far behind, I feel like getting the Boots of Travel wouldn't really help him a whole lot. Even though it generally is the first item for Peel. Fear goes on to a couple boards at bottom. It's not able to find both of them. And most of Perky Pepperonis, they're trying to push in mid.
KVH. He's picked up the blink dagger and actually EG bottom. Uh, Monkey's forever is going to get gone on. He's not, e not even able to get that yell because it was interrupted by the Shuri toss. Excellently played by Zai. Gets thrown up to MC there, but he's not even going to be able to get the kill there. Tidehunter spits at KVH. There's a Ravage available. He'll use it. Why even wait? Because he actually hit it on the four. The Chain Frost is bouncing around. Um, Beer's got to be careful. Beer, hello? And Zai nearly getting taken out by this. So that's actually going to miss. And the Shuri toss bounces all over the place. Tidehunter once again gets a kill with the spit. And Nimble Navigato, two until the Shuri toss. He's going to get it. He finds a kill and he goes invisible underneath the tower. Also, in the side shop, I need Saad. That's going to be a full five man team wipe. And Universe is swimming through the blood right now. That is. I, that's, that is one of my. Uh, Favorite uh, taunts in the game. So it does end up getting taken down. That is still a pretty huge goal change going the way of EG. Ah, oh, blink board by Tiny. He's going right for the P PD Crystal Maiden. He doesn't actually take a whole lot of damage. And KVH, he gonna pay. Blinking forward into his death. Well, it's 17 for 3. Now, we did have this once today with Team Spirit. Are we going to get to the meme score? 3 2 2. Zai, he is level 9 right now. Probably wants to get to level 11 on the ultimate. Still waiting on this Phantom Lancer to get the gold up. Um, once got boost of travel on the PO. So he's going to go for those anyway. Universe just walking up to Dad. He's forced to fly away. The Sunstrike just misses. And Zai is waiting for the PL, whose illusions are going to disappear. They are going to get the damage here and the track. The Shuri Toss actually used before um, the Doppelganger went off and didn't do the damage. Here's Tidehunter. He's not got a route for another 18 seconds. The laser comes out to heal up most of the members for purchase at Bronies. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. And they're going to be running around their own jungle, looking for something to do. But right now, EG, 17 kills for 3, with Invoker at the top of the net worth, and actually 4 of the top net worth spots are all EG, only PCG is at the bottom. There's a Ravage in by Universe, he finds it, the initiation onto the PL and the Tiny. PL's getting very low, they've got to find the real one, and they have. Gushers available in 5 seconds, they also have Blink on Tidehunter. Uh, PL's going to try to TP out, and he will not be able to make a cold snap on point from Samael. Double kill in the mid lane. And EG just continued to roll right over Perky Pepperonis. Now Zai is running around. This'll come in handy. Dyer's Monkey's forever, he's something. hanging around here. But he's not going to be able to do anything about this Roshan attempt by Fear and the rest of EG. Fear just does it so quickly with his ultimate and the uh, battle, the uh, fervor that he has a passive on. So they will quickly take this Roshan down 16, 17 minutes into the game. And Perky Pepperonis do have vision of it, but there's not a whole lot they can actually do. In terms of items, Troll is now sitting on a Dragon Lance and almost a Yasha. And Sumail, he's nearly at his eggs. Tiny is still sitting on the Blink Dagger, and there's a Necro 2 on Beastmaster somehow. That's some pretty good farm for him. Zai is gonna get killed out here. Slow down, and the rest of EG says, eh, it's just a Zai. Don't really care. They abandon him to his death. And he prevents the meme score from occurring. Invoker's gonna TP over the top just to push it out some more. Um, Monkey's Forever and the rest of Perky Pepperonis, they make a B line for the Radiant Jungle. They could find something here. Fear could get caught out. There's the uh, axes rolling around him. He gets yelled at. And do they have enough damage for this? Of course they do. Fear's gonna get that Aegis pop though. And that PPD's gonna TP away. Are they just going to abandon fear? There is a throw up in the air. No mana anymore from the tiny, but that fear is just going to go down. 
not enough help there from the rest of HE, but the, while that is happening, Camille's top, he's taking the tower down, he doesn't even really care. EG, they're just taking the losses that they feel like they have to, and getting the objectives on the map. Zai is... he's got a plate mail. I guess this is going to be a Lotus Orb from him. It'd be interesting if they can get a Lotus Orb onto the target that has uh, Ice, or the uh, Primal Roar, or the Chain Frog casted on them. The Sunstrike is going to be there, and goodbye Lich. Invoker once again on point with the Sunstrike. Sumail is wicked sick now. Tower Invoker finds fallen. another tower kill. They don't have an Aegis for this push, and Troll is back in the base right now. There are no outer towers remaining for Perky Pepperoni, so EG can just go for the base in one fell swoop right now. Uh, buyback status? It's only up for Invoker and Bounty Hunter, so Perky Pepperonis do not want to save for buyback at this point. The kill is pretty close, admittedly. So is the Phoenix. Most of them are within about 500 gold. And some may have it up. And there is a smoke here by P Monkeys Forever and the rest of Perky Pepperonis. They are going for it. PPD on the low ground could get caught out. Blink is available from Tiny. Do they have vision? Yeah, they're going to find PPD. And thrown back towards the Phoenix. The bird is going to get stunned up. And PPD just stares at the wall. He gets put into timeout. Oh, hello. Nice four staff away, but Phantom was just waiting for him on the other side. Uh, Sunstrike does end up hitting Dad and Monkeys Forever, but it's not enough damage to actually take him down. And Bounty Hunter is still waiting for the Arcane Rune. He's just going to stare at it for a couple seconds, now picks it up. He's very close to the uh, Lotus Orb, and I believe now has it on the Courier. Or just a Perseverance. PL has at least come to his senses and bought power treads and getting closer to that diffusal blade. Universe is ready. He's gonna get scouted out here. He's going for Monkey Forever. A four staff forward. He's gonna get yelled at by Monkey Forever and all of that mana is going to go away. Bye bye mana. And meanwhile in the mid lane, uh, KBH, he's going to be in trouble. There's going to be enough damage, and Shuri Toss interrupted TP. PP just going to dance around for a couple seconds. Because you always have to full get the full duration of CM ults when you can. Especially when you get a kill. He's ready for the high ground push. Tiny's down for 25 seconds. With him so low level, his respawn times are pretty low. Uh, immediately that observer when the base gets dewarded. And EG just go right for the base. Battle Trance gets popped. And Fear continues to go ham. It's away from the Fire Spirits, but one will hit him. There's also the Frost Armor on this tower, so they have a lot to just stop EG from getting some good attack speed onto the tower. They're gonna keep going here though. Sending out a couple of Phantom Lens for Illusions, the Diffusal Blade. On a very low cooldown, Avalanche is going to be there. Universe immediately gets stunned up, going to spit at KVH to be Sunstrike is a bit off the mark. And Tide Hunter, he's going to get a lot of damage done to him by the Egg. The Egg is immediately taken down, Yell goes out, and there was a nice Lotus Orb. It went actually both ways on the Monkeys forever. That tier 3 tower is down now. Here comes the tiny immediate tornado from Sumail. And he's going to get immediately taken out. Uh, Universe, he's actually rather low. Sticking around the chain frost a little bit. Fear, though, in the middle of the base. He is just going for all of Perky Pepperoni. He does not care about a thing. He doesn't care about an EMP. He doesn't care about the fire spirits. And he doesn't care about no Necrobook. He's just going to go right for those range racks. Takes them out. And they may decide to back up here. They did spend a couple of... Well, actually, they have all of their ultimates up. Perky Pepperonis are the ones who sent all the resources in there. And they still have the Universe Ravage. Uh, Phantom Lancer Illusion goes right back towards the... Well, that's the Troll Warlord Illusion right back towards the Phantom Lancer. And do we see anyone backing up here? Can EG say they're done? We can take a quick look at the XP and gold graphs. 20,000 for XP in favor of EG. Gold is upwards of 25,000 in 23 minutes. This is one of the most massive uh, 
leads that we've seen in this match, and they are really putting it to Perky Pepperonis. I'm trying to get a little bit of farm here. Seven charges on the Diffusal Blade for Phantom Lancer. He's got 600 gold monkeys forever. He's got a Necro Book number three, and he may be going for a Blink Dagger. That's possible from him. Uh, Perky Pepperonis, though, they are going to group up. We've got a Smoke on Phoenix and Lich. It's not really able to find anything right now on the DG. Control right now sitting on a Sanjinyasha, Ultimate Orb, Dragon Lance, and the Phase Boots. And he's gonna run around towards the PL. He's sitting in the trees right now. See if PL continues to go forward, but he's gonna get scared a little bit. Go back towards the... Oh no, nope, he's gone back up. Here comes Troll, misses him with the axes, and he's gonna get his mana stolen away. I need a sod. I don't think he knows which one is real. Uh, Peel tries to TP out, not gonna happen. Crystal Maiden again interrupts it. He's able to doppelganger away, trying to go on to Zai. He needs to get the track out, just misses it. He's tracked the wrong Peel target. And Invoker's not even there, so now just running around the mid lane. Again, pushing it in. Spears moved up. He's at 1300 gold right now. And here come EG. They still got the Universe Ravage. Recipe for Shiva's Guard is in his inventory. So it will be finished up pretty soon. Actually, he needs 2500 gold for it. So it will be finished up, possibly. But he may not even get it before the game ends. Spear runs up. He got the Lotus Orb on him. They cannot do anything about him. And that's going to be Pierre going for the range racks, melee racks. They're both gone. And we're gonna go top now. Feels like nothing can stop this EG squad. We're 25 minutes in. They've broken the base, and they're going for the GSP tower. Tidehunter spits at the bird. The bird dies. And here comes Tiny. Gets a nice avalanche on the pier. And uh, Universe, Universe out himself forward. This will be another beautiful ravage onto everybody that's still alive for Perky Pepperonis. There's a chain cross that's going to be doing some damage here to see if he can take down Universe. But there is the Phoenix Egg. Can they take it down? Fear's going to focus it down. And he's going to go right onto KV. He's just hitting every single thing in sight. And that's going to be GG. Game number one goes the way of EG against Perky Pepperonis. And we'll see if they're able to bring it back in the second game of the semi-final of the America's Open Qualifier to TI6. I'm Kithian. I'll be back with game number two in just a couple moments. Stick around. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at PithyLagoom as well on twitch.tv slash PithyLagoom. You're all having a great day and maybe we can make it even better with game number two. Be right back.